Hi everybody, my name is Kristen Wyatt and welcome to day one of Food Rehab. This is a four part series that you guys are lucky to have gotten for free. Um, so welcome, I'm super excited to tell you guys a little bit more about me, which some of you guys may already know. I am a senior Ruby ambassador with Plexus Worldwide, but I have not always been an ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. When I first started Plexus, I came from a place where I was very, very unhealthy. I was not just addicted to food um, chemically which I definitely was. I grew up not eating healthy at all, but I was also emotionally addicted to food. When my mom passed away, I just took on the weight of the world and tried to help my family, in turn kind of bearing what I was going through. So um, I, when Plexus was even introduced to me, I was kind of against it. Anything that talked about dieting or weight loss or anything, I was very, very skeptical about, and it was a huge red flag for me because I assumed it wouldn't work. I had tried every diet, every pill, every program, you name it. So if somebody tried to tell me that it was for weight loss, I probably wouldn't have ever tried it. But my friend told me that Plexus was more about a health and wellness program focusing on gut health and inflammation, and so I figured, okay, why not? So the whole Whole purpose of me even bringing up Plexus in this food rehab, you might be thinking, what does Plexus have to do with this food rehab? It was a huge part of my journey. And we'll talk about supplementation throughout the next four days. But more importantly, I want you to know that I was able to break my food addictions. And it didn't come easy and it didn't happen overnight. You know, we don't get this way overnight. So I don't want you to expect that the next four days you're going to wake up magically on day five and never want a brownie again. It definitely doesn't work like that. But these will give you some really practical tools that you can apply to your life to help you slow slowly break these food addictions. So welcome and I'm super excited. First of all, let's talk a little bit about supplementation. I wasn't a huge fan of supplementation, but after introducing specific supplements into my regimen, not only did they help to stabilize my blood sugar, cholesterol, lipid levels, but they helped my food cravings. They helped my body to normalize and to stabilize a little bit. And when everything else is regulated, you're left with just those habitual mindset type things that you need to worry about and not as much of the chemical addiction that your body is physically dealing with. You guys have no idea how addicting food is really. Um, it's more addicting than cocaine and other drugs out there. Um, I mean, sugar is one of the most addicting things out there. In fact, people are kind of stumped. Right now, scientists are trying to figure out a way to really help people cure this horrific food addiction with salts and fats and sugars um, because they find it actually a little bit more difficult to cure in people than alcohol or drug addictions because with those situations, they go to rehab and they cut everything off cold turkey and they slowly recover. With food, you can't stop eating, right? So how can you help people break through these things? And over the next four days, I'm going to take you guys kind of through this journey that I came through that I feel like really, really helped me break through my food addiction with, of course, the help of these amazing supplements. If eating healthy and working out was enough on its own, then the people out there eating healthy and working out wouldn't suffer from things like skin issues, and they wouldn't suffer from other gut health-related things like migraines or maybe digestive issues. There are so many issues that, re that rely on your gut health being important um, or being good, right? So 80% of your immune system is in your gut, okay? I want you to think of any health issues you've ever had and I want you to go Google we all love Google Google gut health and your health issue gut health and migraines gut health and IBS gut health and anxiety gut health and depression whatever your situation may be I want you to Google what um, how it relates to gut health and I think you might be surprised most issues weigh in heavily on your gut health and the balance of good and bad bacteria in your gut so that is what supplementation is all about bringing balance and healing to your gut to get your body operating the way it's always meant to operate um, so let's talk a little bit about extremist because I used to be kind of an extremist. We don't necessarily want to be an extremist um, where we rip off the band-aid and go, I'm never having sugar again. I'm only eating fruits and vegetables because what ends up happening? Um, it's a little bit difficult to keep maintaining that in a realistic, <laughs> we are in America after all, um, it's not as realistic. And so we end up giving up too soon or we end up throwing up the throwing up our hands and thinking, oh, this wasn't for me. Um, so let's be a little bit more realistic. We're going to ease into these steps one day at a time. I want you to take lots of notes each day. I want you to take a photo of your notes, really 
think about them, reread them. You taking notes while hearing information actually helps your mind absorb it so much better. And take it, watch this as often as you want. You know, you have these videos now, you earned them, so now you have them and you can continue to watch them over and over um, if needed, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to think about doing, since it is day one, I'm looking down at my notes here, I want you guys to think about potentially cleaning up your house a little bit. And I don't mean get out the mop and the dustpan. Um, what I do mean is maybe clean out some of those foods that you know are going to be really difficult triggers for you. Um, if you were an alcoholic, you most likely wouldn't be able to live with somebody who was drinking often, and you probably wouldn't have your liquor cabinet stocked as long as well as your wine rack, okay? So let's be realistic about it. If you have friends and family in your home that eat junk food that you know are going to be really difficult for you, ask them to hide it. <laughs> ask them to hide it for you. I actually got to the point where I was weighing myself every single day, way back in the day when I was trying one of my diet pills to see hopefully this will work, and I would weigh myself every day, and it, my weight fluctuated, and it got to the point where I'd be so discouraged, and I was focusing so much on my weight and not at all my health, I actually asked my husband to hide the scale, and he did, and guess what? It helped. So utilize that. Clean house if needed. Put things above your reach. Um, hide things wherever you need to. You know, if you've got a gun safe, have your husband change the password and stick the Cheetos in the gun safe because we want that stuff locked up, okay? Um, I also want you to kind of let go of everything that you've already heard because what I'm going to talk to you guys about today, some of the tips that helped me with my food addiction are um, just little things I started introducing into my diet slowly but surely and um, I think we hear things throughout our diet history, one of them being that you never want to have like things that are fattening, right? I mean, why would you want something fattening? You're trying to lose fat, right? That's not always the case. And unfortunately, there are um, kind of just bad advertisements out there for um, fattening type foods um, or if you have this instead, it's fat free. Well, when they say fat free, they're actually just adding in a ton of processed sugar and carbs and other ways of um, making it taste good. And so it actually doesn't help you. So what I want to talk to you about today is feeling fuller longer for a longer period of time. Now, if we want to be fuller for longer, um, we need some good snacks. Snacking is a must, and one thing that helps me a lot is to prepare my snacks ahead of time. I got these little uh, meal containers from Amazon. You can literally search on Amazon meal prep containers, and it will send you however many you want, little pre-divided containers with lids. They're so easy, and what I would do is I would make my own trail mix and get applesauce or yogurt or some of the things I'm going to talk to you guys about today, and I'd create little snack packs, and I'd stack them in my fridge high. I'd have the left side was my husband's and the right side was mine. And it was so much easier whenever I was getting a little hungry, but it wasn't quite ready for lunchtime to just grab a snack. And so, you know, you always hear that you should have five to six small meals a day. Well, that's a great way to have those little snacks in there is to prepare them ahead of time. So feeling fuller longer is going to mean that you need some good fats. And I'll talk about what good fats are. You're going to need some protein. You're going to need lots of fiber. Um, and I'm going to give you some ideas with that. So one of the good fats that I love is avocado, okay? If you love guacamole, hello, this is like one of the most scrumptious snacks. Get an avocado, chop it in half, pull out the pit, scoop it all into a bowl, and then get some of that pre-chopped avocado or a pico de gallo from your grocery store. Scoop that into the bowl of avocado, add a little salt if you want, and just beat it with a fork and mix it all up and bam, you have your own avocado or your own guacamole, I mean. Um, you can make your own other ways or you can do like a prepackaged guacamole. Just make sure you're reading the ingredients. Make sure they don't add anything weird in there. Make sure it's just seasonings and lemon and <laughs> avocado basically. Um, but avocado is a great good fat that will really help you stay fuller longer. And you can maybe have some sweet potato chips. Make sure you check your labels. There are sweet potato chips out there that are strictly sweet potato 
and sea salt and maybe canola oil. And like, it really is just like having sweet potatoes, okay? But here's a tip, get a bowl, okay? I want you to always get a bowl from here on out every single time you make a snack, get a bowl out because you guys know what I'm talking about. You'll get a whole bowl and you'll make a big thing of guacamole and then what do you do? You get the whole bag of sweet potato chips and you're just chomping and chomping and chomping. Trust me, I used to binge eat all the time. I'd order a large pizza, I'd eat as much as I could and then I'd wait, burp, until make till it made more room go back and get more and then god forbid I don't have you know three cookies for dessert so trust me I get it and sometimes it's just a habitual thing it's not always about your body needing fuel so get a bowl pour some chips into the bowl and take the bowl and your guacamole to the table and put the chips back away if you end up wanting to make another bowl that's fine but you might be surprised especially if you're drinking lots of water in between those bites how much less your body really is needing okay Whole eggs. You know those people that tell you if you want to lose weight, you should just have egg whites? Y'all, the yolk is actually a huge, amazing part of nutrition for you because it's a good fat, okay? So in a whole egg, um, whether you like them hard boiled or you just like to cook some yummy scrambled eggs, um, it's actually a lie that the um, that whole eggs are super high in cholesterol. Um, in most people, now in some cases, if they have a specific um, health concern, Eggs can be a little bit high in cholesterol for them, but in most people, it doesn't affect um, the cholesterol in the blood. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. Whole eggs are a great way to start your day with, with breakfast, scrambled, however you like them cooked. Just add a little salt, maybe some salsa, sliced avocado on there. Make it nice and yummy and it will really help you to um, stay fuller longer. This is where I love to have my Plexus pink drink. So going back to supplementation, we talk, we're talking here about people you know, who have issues about their cholesterol being too high. Well, our pink drink actually helps to regulate your blood sugar, cholesterol, and your lipid levels. Y'all, talk about an incredible tool. You drink the pink drink, tastes like a cherry Tootsie Roll, first of all, so that right there helps with your food cravings because you're feeling like you get a, something a little sweet, but there's no sugar in it. It's sweetened with an all-natural sweetener called stevia. You drink it about 30 minutes before your first meal, and then you can make those whole eggs, and you will be set, okay? Next, nuts. Peanuts, almonds, whatever the nuts are, they are a great snack. I actually, um, they're chocked full of vitamin E and magnesium, um, which are both incredible tools that your body needs, which is another reason why I love Plexus BioCleanse. It's a gentle magnesium supplement. It helps me to poop regularly. It helps me, um, it oxygenates my blood. It helps give me a little bit more energy. Um, it boosts collagen. It does so many things for you with very simple, all natural, clean ingredients, magnesium, calcium, sodium, vitamin C, um, all the things that you can also get in nuts. So um, I, my little tip for you is to make your own trail mix. I go and get a um, big thing of peanuts or almonds um, and I get it to where it's just the peanut and the salt or peanut and low salt and just oil or whatever. Just very simplified, as simple the ingredients the better. And then I'll go and get some uh, like cranberry dark chocolate or something like that. I'll get some dried cranberries or some raisins in there. But because I am getting all of those ingredients, I can then go get the little tiny Ziploc baggies and I can mix my own amount. So I put a lot of nuts, a little bit of the cranberries, and then I put in a couple pieces of dark chocolate and seal it. So now, instead of the big handful of the pre-made trail mix that has tons of crap in it, as well as mostly M&Ms, you pick out the M&Ms and you're kind of wasting the almonds, now you've created your own healthy snack, again, just to grab and go. So we're all about convenience here, right? Okay, next tip. Um, cook everything in coconut oil. You guys, coconut is such a great healthy fat. The more you use coconut oil, it will help you stay fuller longer. So put it in the pan, let it kind of simmer, put it in a protein shake. That would be really yummy. I love our P96 protein shakes because they have no sugar, no carbs. They're only 100 calories and they come in these pretty little packaged things. Um, it comes in a bag like this, but... It has a little pre-packaged bag. So you literally can just take it with you anywhere. 
rip it open, pour it into a cup of water, shake it up, and you're good to go. But if you're getting ready in the morning, scoop a big thing of coconut oil in there, maybe some frozen fruit, some frozen bananas with your chocolate P96 and blend it. Um, hello, it's like a chocolate shake. And it's a great way, again, to have a great snack that's gonna keep you fuller longer. Um, let's see what else. I love full fat yogurt, okay? This is the one where you have to throw out everything you've learned before because people will tell you to do diet free or diet fat free yogurt and you guys you know what they do when they remove all the fat from the yogurt? They add in a crap ton of sugar and carbs and high fructose corn syrup and not even real sugars. It's all these artificial sweeteners. Your body doesn't even know how to register them or how to process it because we weren't meant to and it stores it as, you guessed it, fat. So we want to make sure that you get full fat yogurt. Make sure the ingredients are simplified with natural fruits, no syrups, no nothing, no fructose, nothing funky, and that you have that full fat yogurt. It is full of probiotics. Um, it's full... Um, uh, you just have to check your la your labels. Make sure you check your labels because a lot of time it will say all natural, fruit based, you know, whatever. And you look and it's actually like a fruit sugar cocktail puree. Okay, Ooh, you have to be very careful about that. So this also leads me back to probiotics in general. Probiotics, what they do is they're meant to replenish your gut with good bacteria because when you're on antibiotics or you have certain foods, it strips your body of all the good bacteria and it also adds in some bad bacteria bacteria in there that you don't want. What our probiotic does that makes it unique to other probiotics. In fact, I had a friend that wanted to get fancy and try a $60 probiotic that had to be refrigerated and her stomach actually swelled back up, very pressure, lots of um, discomfort. When she switched back to our Plexus probiotic, it was back flat in two days because her body finally was doing what it needed to do again. So don't get fancy. Our probiotic is cheap. It's affordable. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. And it has an anti fungal in it. You guys, this antifungal kills off all the bad bacteria in your gut to where you can finally breathe again, okay? It really helps to balance the gut while also replenishing your gut with everything that it needs. So I hope today, day one, kept you guys excited, gave you guys some realistic tips that you can start applying. Hopefully it got you excited about our Plexus products. If you're already taking them or if you're thinking about taking them, they're a great thing to work into your regimen. The products I talked about today are personal products that I took while pregnant and while breastfeeding. They're all natural, plant-based, no artificial dyes or anything funky in there, and they do so much more than just what they've done for me. I'm down 95 pounds now. <laughs> Crazy, I know. I'm off all medication. I no longer have migraines. I no longer have allergies, and like I've said, I've broken through these food addictions, you guys. The fact that I'm even doing a food rehab series is crazy because just a couple years ago, I was binging on McDonald's and eating out every single meal and I didn't know when to stop. I had dessert every meal and it was just bad. I was very unhealthy having to take Excedrin migraine every day and I was in a really, really bad place. So I'm very thankful for Plexus and I'm thankful for you guys taking this leap. This is huge. You don't have to do it alone. I'm here for you. The whole team is going to be here for you if you decide to join our team and um, I'm just really, really excited about the next four days. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.